A new inning for former Major League Baseball star and Guam native John Haddock Jr. I made amends that I made mistakes in my life and, and, and I don't have problems taking responsibility for it and, and doing what's right and helping me get to where I need to be in life now. Haddock was arrested in July 2021 after authorities spotted him in Tamuning with a firearm, three baggies of meth, Xanax pills and a scale. Defense attorney Annie Gale telling Superior Court Judge Maria Sunson today that Haddock had reached an agreement with prosecutors. At this point, though, it, um, it's a suspended uh, sentence, Your Honor. Okay, so, and then the, will it have the, to what would he be doing? Uh, possession and firearm with that OMD. Okay, and then it's also the other charges? Yeah, those are. Haddock will return to court at a later date to admit guilt to his crime. The former Toronto Blue Jays player will be spared jail time and be placed on two years probation. What was your biggest takeaway from all of this? Um, you know what, I, I guess that, uh, I guess people make mistakes, you know what I mean? And the, you know what, I guess atoning to it. And I think by uh, staying the straight line, I think it really has helped me in the past few years and also, you know, in the courtroom, I think uh, being a, a, going back to being a good citizen, I think it's really helped me uh, proceed with uh, talking with the government on getting the plea deal that I would like because uh, I ultimately didn't want to spend time in jail because I'm a first time offender. He says it's a life lesson well learned. That no matter where you're at in life, whether you're, you're a big shot or, you know, small time, that, that this, that drug, it affects everybody. And that all, all I all I hope to hope to inspire is that people who are struggling with it that that they're not afraid to come forward and ask for help. You know, um, although my arrest is what led me to to become straightened, that that was a lesson learned. That you know, a couple of days I spent in jail really really made me think about my freedom and what I did. Haddock, who also learned that the road to recovery doesn't always have to be lonely. He tells KYM he is now focused on being a father and a productive member of society. I appreciate the people who have stuck by me and, and um, always wish me well and, and stay, stay good for me, you know, and kept me positive. That actually what, what, really, what really gets me is that, you know, I, I, I let down the island. I, I, I feel like I owe it to the people to, to show that, that you can recover and you can do this and, and just because I was a former professional baseball player doesn't exempt me from being hit by life. Julianne Hernandez, KOM News.